They've been getting up at the, like, the, like, the, like, the, 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 the station. I tell you, they always send a, a main perp on the bus, usually women. You know, sometimes they'll send men too, but usually for the most part it's women. And uh, they'll start targeting me. And then what they start doing lately is also, uh, they'll, they'll get on the, the same buses as me and get off at the same uh, stop, right? The same destination. So yeah. <laughs> This is what they do. Again, it's 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 stalking, but it's meant to. Um, it's done in such a way, in which uh, you know it's, it's not so obvious, right? Because again, those within the authoritative position have taught them what to do, so that if the TI or a targeted person went to file a complaint. They can be easily uh, discredited. Yeah, well. yeah why do? <laughs> Wasn't I just talking about how black women are the most obese? All right, overweight and they're obese. And so again, that's to show you that they, and they do this because you know, they know that they listen to my conversations or listen to what I'm saying. They hack my phone also because of my shifts and remote neural monitoring. So they'll do things like that. Again, it's not surprising. You know, it doesn't change the facts, right? It does not change the facts, right? Regardless of whatever body positivity they try to push. And again, you gotta understand who is doing these things. These are wealthy corporations. These are white men and corporations that want to sell you products, right? But again, they'll have you engaging in unhealthy behaviors Right, not thinking about your health, okay? And like I said, I can't blame, you know, us for being a certain way, you know? But those of us who speak the truth, I'll come into that knowledge, that light, and hear that, I said that light, that knowledge, yeah, the New York Fresh Department in the background, whoop, again, All right? Those of us that come into the truth, because they, they don't like the truth. They hate the truth. Okay, those who speak the truth will always be attacked. All right? Like I said to black people, you know, you believe in Jesus so much, right? But, you know, the very people that are in your community speaking the truth, telling you the truth, right? What do you do? You, you become like the Jews in the Bible, right? I shouldn't say the Jews, but the Judeans in the Bible. You become just like them, right? Right? You, you would chastise your own savior, right? At least that's what Jesus is supposed to be, right? He's supposed to be the savior. Right? And what did his people do, right? Didn't they turn against him? Okay. There you go. So you claim to believe in something that you don't really believe in. Right? You claim that Jesus is coming back, but you never look within your own for the so-called Jesus. You look within others. Those that are wealthy. Right? Not the ones that are strict. Remember, in those times, you had the Roman elites, right? You have those that were very wealthy. Right? And you say Jesus was what? He was born into poverty, right? Poor man. But he's a God, right? He's a God. So you're telling me that this man God, <laughs> just like you have it in a, a, a Greek myth, in Hebrew myth, right? So this, all, all these man gods, right? Going through suffering and struggling and dying and resurrecting. Right, but you don't. But you claim to believe it, right? But you don't. When you're looking for Jesus. You're not looking for him amongst each other. Those that are poor, those that are working class, poor people. You're not looking for him there, right? Sorry. You looking for him, right? In the amongst the elites, right? Amongst the wealthy. That's who you're looking for. <laughs> I say you can't make this shit up. I mean, literally, that like Kevin Samuels always say. You can't make this shit up, and this is why he will always be the go. He will be the Godfather because he spoke the truth. And there are some things I may not agree with him with, but his purpose was to expose the mindset of black men and black women, and to try to bring the black family back together, right? And to take that delusional mindset out of your mind and make you look at the reality, you know. But the, particularly for amongst women, right? It doesn't matter what ethnicity they are but especially within black women 
uh, telling them the truth is like kryptonite. Right? Tell them the truth is like kryptonite. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the same. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video, not the same video. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.